<sighs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear me. <laughs> Tell me what a life. <laughs> What's the time? Two o'clock. Is that all? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear me. I don't know. Oh, I'm fed up. Oi. What? Why don't you shut up moaning and let me get on with the paper? Well, I'm fed up. So you just said. Well, so I am. Look, so am I fed up, and so is Bill fed up. We're all fed up, so shut up moaning and make the best of it. <sighs> you sure it's only two o'clock? No, it's... Uh, one minute past two now. <laughs> one minute past two. And the time drag. <laughs> Oh, I do hate Sundays. I'll be glad when it's over. Drives me up the wall just sitting here looking at you lot. Every Sunday it's the same. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just sit here waiting for the next lot of grub to come up. <laughs> ah, dear. There must be something we can do. Bill, haven't you got any bright ideas? No. That was a waste of time asking, really, wasn't it? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm fed up. Why don't you men go out for a walk while I wash up the dishes? Why don't you men go out for a walk? Why don't you go for a walk? <laughs> go on up it. Be one less to look at all day. <sighs> you finished that paper yet? No. Well, hurry up. I haven't seen it. I want to know what my stars say. What are you? June the 21st. What sign is that? The crab. <laughs> it says... Today looks like being a very exciting day. Well, good luck to him. <laughs> Who is he? Arnold the Gypsy. <laughs> Look at him. Spotted handkerchief round his head. Great cartwheel earrings. And a right fake, if I ever saw one. The nearest he's ever been to a caravan was at the motor show. <laughs> Why don't you turn it in? Oh. <sighs> oh, look. It started raining. That's all we wanted. <laughs> you watch. It'll go dark in a minute. We'll have to switch the lights on. I think I'll go to bed. You've only been up an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that is, by the way, and nothing to do with it. I might just as well be in bed. There's nothing else to do. I wish I hadn't got up now. Your dinner wasn't worth getting up for, I'll tell you that for a start. Oh, well, I don't know. I ate all mine. That is neither here nor there. <laughs> you also ate Bill's and Sid's and mine. <laughs> I thought my mother was a bad cook, but at least her gravy used to move about. <laughs> Yours, yours just sort of, sort of lies there and sets. That's the goodness in it. That's the half a pound of flour you put in it. <laughs> here, 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 listen. There's a bloke here who can cure gallstones by just putting his hands on your forehead. <laughs> That's a funny place to have gallstones. No, no, no. He's got a box, you see, and he transmits life waves. You see, everybody's got life waves, and it says here the box tunes into your life waves, and the waves travel through his fingertips into your forehead and smashes your gallstones up. Mm, charming. <laughs> well, it makes you think, doesn't it? He says he can cure anything so long as he gets on the right wavelength. I know. For an extra five bob, he'll tune both your ear holes into family favourites. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. Why don't you sit down and relax? It's a day of rest. Have a kip or something, anything. But do me a favour and shut up. Oh, dear. What a life. It's Sunday. I've had a rotten dinner. 
It's raining, and I've got nothing to do. There's plenty of odd jobs you can do around the house. Oh, shut up. It's a day of rest. I'm not mending your bed again. <laughs> oh, read the paper, will you? Well, it makes you sick. Oh, I hate Sundays. So do I, but there's one a week and there always has been and there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like this on the continent. It's their big day over there. All the cafes open and football matches and race meetings. Everybody's gay. <laughs> not over here, though. <laughs> Everything's shut up. I wish you would. Oh, <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oh, dear. Get your feet out of the way. Put them over there. That's it. Go on, go on. Take all the fire up. Don't let anybody else get a look at it, will you? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get warm. What's the time? Uh, the little hand's on two and the big hand's on three. That's, uh, three minutes past two. <laughs> It is a quarter past two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <sighs> quarter past two. Another nine and three-quarter hours before it's Monday. <laughs> Depressing, isn't it? Don't care very much for Monday, either. <laughs> Miss Saturdays are always spoiled thinking about Sunday. <laughs> you know, I sometimes think what it's, what it's all about. What are we here for? Don't you sometimes think that? No. No, of course not. <laughs> <sighs> the bar at the piccolo marino Life came to Mrs. Wentworth Passes up the line, suffused to her You notice when you look at that wallpaper long enough You can see faces in it <laughs> Honest? Yes, yes you can You can see faces after a time the pattern it makes little faces there's a lovely one of an old man with a pipe where come over here look look look, look at it from where i'm sitting see <laughs> screw your eyes screw your eyes up now stare hard stare hard <laughs> squint 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 a bit squint a bit that's it that's it that now now concentrate on that bit by the serving hatch see it no yes <laughs> look it's there plain as eggs look 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 along my finger see see there's his nose there's his pipe and there's his hat see it no of course you can see it. There's dozens of them all over the room. <laughs> Look, there's Churchill over there and Charlie Chaplin over the mantelpiece. Concentrate. Squint, man, squint. Don't shut them. Don't shut... Can't you see them? No. Oh, go and sit down. <laughs> you wait till you want me to see anything. All I can see on the wallpaper are bunches of grapes. <sighs> What's the time? The little hands are... Oh, not you. Somebody else. <laughs> Seventeen minutes past two. <coughs> Seventeen minutes. Doesn't time drag? I can't see that little old man with the pipe now. <laughs> what angle did I have me head at? Oh, yes, there he is. Yes, yes, he's got a dog with him now. Isn't that strange? <laughs> On your rose, I believe you. On your rose, my little... I took it to your eyes. <laughs> my little you. What's it called, Sid? What's what called? This tune, this tune. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that tune. You know. You know, don't you? No, know the, I don't know. You know the film, old Anton Warbrook on the piano there. No. <sighs> Let's go to the pictures. They don't open until half past four. It's Sunday. Well, never mind. We'll go at half past four. What song? Let me see. Royal Chief. Oh. Oh. Betty Davis and George Brent in Little Foxes and the Battle of Little Bighorn. <laughs> oh, I've seen them. <laughs> I've seen both of them. It's always the same on Sundays. They always put on old films you've seen before. Makes you sick. What's on at the other place? It's closed down. Oh, well, so much for the pictures. 
What time are the pubs open? Seven o'clock. Oh, it's even an hour later than weekdays. And they close earlier. There's no one up there Sunday nights anyway. Except the barmaid. She's a bit off. <laughs> I told Harry, you know, I went up there and I saw him. Quietly. And the bottle and jug I got him on one side. I said, Harry, I said, why did you get rid of Gladys for? She was a fair piece, you know. <laughs> Her arms were a bit thick, but what can you expect when she's pulling pints all day long? <laughs> but this one, oh dear, oh dearie me, it puts you right off beer, she does. <laughs> you want to get it down quickly and get out. I told Harry straight. <laughs> I said, Harry, I said, you've done wrong there getting rid of Gladys. Mm -hmm. There's no attraction coming in here now because your beer's rotten. Did you tell him that? Certainly, he didn't deny it. It's fallen right off that place. Well, the dark club's moved down to the bull. So why don't he get rid of her then? Oh, I think there's something going on there. He had a black eye the other day and he's been drinking more. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I like old Harry. I like Harry too. But there you are. These women, once they get hold of your mate, there you are. That's the way it goes. Yep. Yes. That's life. It's always the same. There you are. Up one minute, down the next. Yeah. Never know when it's your turn next. <laughs> no. That's the way it goes. Never know what's round the next corner, do you? True. No matter how bad off you are, there's always somebody worse off than yourself. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I was just thinking about poor old Albert in hospital. He's been there a month and nobody has been to see him. Oh, no. Well, isn't that shocking, that poor old devil? Nobody's been near him. He's just... just lying there. That makes you feel really rotten, doesn't it? Poor old Albert. Well, you, you look, why don't we go and see him this afternoon? we got nothing to do. Oh, it's a long way, isn't it? <laughs> He's probably asleep. He wouldn't want to see us anyway, eh? Mm -hmm. We'll go next week. Yeah, all right, then. Mm, I wonder what I'd look like in the new fashions. I think I'll buy myself a trapeze dress. <laughs> I hope you fall off it. <laughs> what about a game of Monopoly? Yes, yes. Bags me be the boot. No, I want to be the boot. You'll get my boot if you don't stop arguing. <laughs> you are the steamship. Sydney is the racing car. Miss Pugh is the top hat and I am the boot. Right, who starts? No one. You lost the board. <laughs> you lost the board. So we can't play Monopoly either? No. What's the time? Twenty past two. Well, the time's gradually going, isn't it? Thank you very much. Here, I've just thought. When do you alter the clocks? Today. Do you put them forward or back? Um, forward. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That'll get rid of another hour. <laughs> Give us the clock. Ah, Twenty past three. That's better. Soon be Monday. Well, I've finished the paper. Now I've got nothing to do. You got a pencil? Why? I thought I'd fill in all the O's and the D's and the P's and the G's on the front page. <laughs> you know, shade them in. Always do that when I've got nothing to do. Do you do that as well? I sometimes make faces out of them. Get away. Yes, quite often. I put a pair of ears on the O's and a couple of eyes in the mouth. <laughs> I get quite anagonish at times. <laughs> You got a pencil then? No, I've got a pen. No, that's no good. The ink spreads on a newspaper. <laughs> well, I'll just have to think of something else. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> let's play beat your neighbours out of doors. I said, let's play we beat your... We heard what you said. <laughs> oh. Well, do you fancy playing? Look, we are grown men. We are not that desperate for something to while away the time. There are much more intelligent pursuits we could engage in. How do you play it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what did you suggest it for, then? Well, I thought you might know how to play Well, I don't. It was just an idea. 
I think I'll get myself a sweater. <laughs> well, that should solve the unemployment problem in the wool industry. <laughs> Which reminds me, you were going to knit me a string vest. Haven't got any string. <laughs> you could unravel that shopping bag. Wouldn't be any good. Haven't got any needles. Use your fingers. They're thick enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play murders. If you open your mouth once more, we won't be playing murders, mate. They'll be investigating one. <laughs> I vote we all go to sleep. Right? Heads down. <sighs> It's nearly off there for a minute. Oh, dear. Hello, hello. What, what's the matter? Over the road's going out. Shh, shh, say nothing, say nothing. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet. Look behind the curtain, don't let them see you. That's the first time they've been out together for ages. I wonder where they're going. She found out about him and that girl, you know. Never. Mm. He said he had to work late and she saw them that night in the pictures. Shocking row. Was there? Yes, she was with the milkman. <laughs> Our milkman? The one with the big nose? Yes. He gets around, doesn't he? There was that trouble with number 28 last month. And there was the punch-up with the husband at 31. You wouldn't think he'd attract women with a hooter like that. Must be the uniforms, you know. Women love uniforms. Oh, look, look, he's opening the gate for her. Dear me, times have changed. He always used to slam it and try and fetch her shins a wallop. Look at them smiling at each other. Love's young bloom. <laughs> Makes you sick at that age, doesn't it? He's got his Sunday best on. So he has. Well, I don't like it much. Shouldn't have shoulders that size with a small head like he's got. <laughs> here, come here, quick, quick. Look, look, look. Oh, swipe me. Look, look. He's wearing gloves. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Ooh, look at him carrying one. Carrying one. <laughs> Oh, my word, aren't we posh here? Look at this. <laughs> of course, it's her that's pushing him, you know. <laughs> she wants him to get an office job. Which way are they going? Which way? Down the street or up the street? Up, I think, aren't they? Oh, yes, up. Let's see, up, yes. Oh, yes, they'll be going to see his sister in Acton. <laughs> and they always go that way. If they were going the other way, it'd be her mother in Tooting. <laughs> oh, they've gone. Oh, well, that's about all the excitement we can expect today. Come on, all sit down again. Oh, dear. <clears throat> freight train, freight train, freight train, freight train, ring, ding, ding, ring, ding, 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 ding. Where's my licorice all sorts? I had a quarter of licorice all sorts here in a paper bag on the mantelpiece. Where are they? Oh, I am sorry. I've just eaten the last one. You gannet. <laughs> they weren't even open ten minutes ago. You've shoveled the lot in. <laughs> you know how much I like the square ones with the black and white layers. Oh, pass the nuts over. Oh, yes, wonderful. Oh, yes. A dish full of shells and a banana skin. <laughs> No, 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 here's one. The last one. Where did that nut go? It flew out of the crackers. Where did it go? <laughs> it went in the fire. Oh, I give up. I'm not coming downstairs next Sunday. I'll have one of my pills on Saturday night and wake up on Monday. <laughs> there was a wild colonial boy, Jack Duggan. Was Do you it? have to, please? <laughs> Why don't you put the gramophone on? That's an idea, yes. play the piano? Nobody, besides the lid's down and we've lost the key. <sighs> Let's play 20 questions. What do you want to keep playing things for? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Sit still. <laughs> I 
I'm an old cow hand. From Lemmington's bar. If we had a dog, we could take him for a run. Why don't you go and clean your shoes or something? Scrape the inside of the oven out. What's the time? Twenty-five to four. Yeah, what time's children's hour on? What do you want to see children's hour for? Oh, Bill and Ben, the flower pot men might be on. <laughs> I like them. Oh, you mean Skogolog and Olob? Yes, that's it. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, Skogolog, yes, they're very good. Ah, it's no good, the set's broken. I lift up my finger and I say, tweet, tweet, shush, shush, no, no, come, come. Ah, bum, 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 bum. Who's that? Look through the window, who's it? It's the man next door. Oh, dear, as if Sunday's not bad enough without him. Pretend we're not in. He saw me pull the curtain. Oh, well, let him in, then. Uh, good afternoon, all. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Not a very nice afternoon, is it? No. Raining, you know. Oh, so that's what's making the roads wet. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Terrible weather for the chest, isn't it? Yes, yes, shocking, shocking. Cause the wife's in bed with a cold, you know. Oh, I am sorry. Here, take a lemon into her. Oh, thank you. You you didn't mind me calling in, did you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Good. Or well, the real reason I came in is because... Well, I... It gets a bit boring sitting in there on a Sunday afternoon by yourself. There's nothing much to do, is there? And Rosita said, Don't you sit down there by yourself, Clark. You go in. <laughs> go in and see Mr. Hancock and have a chat with him. I know it's always so lively in your house compared with the rest of the street. Oh, yes, madly gay, madly gay. Yes, <laughs> yes we have quite a ding-dong going on here some weeks. The table wine flows like water. <laughs> you sure you didn't mind me popping in? No, no. You're such interesting people. It's a lot to keep you busy, never a dull moment. <laughs> I thought you might be bored by someone like me, just an ordinary sort of chap. Oh, no, no, you're terribly fascinating. <laughs> No, I wouldn't say that. I, I, no. I mean, the sort of life you lead is a lot different to mine. Yes. Yes. I mean, on the stage, you meet all those pretty <laughs> young ladies, and uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I suppose you sort of wine and dine them in all the big clubs in the town. Oh, and... yes, unceasingly, yes. <laughs> yes, it's a wonder you found me in. Right. <laughs> I always listen to your radio programme. Really? Yes. Oh, yes, Rosita and myself, we never miss it. <laughs> I heard last week's. I am not so keen on it as some of the others. Weren't you, no? No, no. I didn't think it was as funny. Oh. Mm. No, I thought Ted Ray had the edge on you last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be very worrying for you trying to keep it up week after week. Especially with so many good newcomers arriving on the scene. Yes, quite. Yeah. <laughs> and the two lads at the office, they don't like you so much these days either. <laughs> they don't? No, no. Of course, they're very fickle. Rosita and I, we, we think you were at your peak five years ago. <laughs> Oh, oh, you were very funny in those days. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Still, I don't suppose you're bothered, eh? You've made your pile, I expect. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm rolling in it, yes. No need to work again for a fortnight. <laughs> and you can't keep it up forever, can you? Yes, well, I'm so sorry you've got to go now. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I haven't got to go. I'm all right for an hour or two. Yes. I thought I heard Rosita calling. Perhaps she's fallen out of bed. <laughs> oh, no, no, she'll be all right. May I sit down? <clears throat> ah, thank you. I do impressions, you know. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> That's a pig. <laughs> and very good, too. <laughs> I just, just do them for my own amusement, you know. 
obviously. No! Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Clutter me here, please. You frighten the life out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a cow being worried by a sheep dog. Yes, I'm sorry you can't stop for tea, but we haven't got enough fish paste to go around. Oh, I don't mind. You just go ahead. I'll just sit here. We need your chair. Oh, very well. I don't mind standing. Go ahead and have your tea. There's no doubt about it. When you have friendly neighbours like this, it makes a Sunday well worthwhile waiting for, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, just think we might have sat here all day, bored stiff. That was the lesser spotted corn crake. Oh, yes. Wasn't that good, eh, Seth? Wasn't it good, but... Of course, I forgot they fell asleep hours ago. Pardon? <laughs> you choking? No, no. What a pity. <laughs> that was the splay-footed moorhen. Oh, well, isn't that marvellous? That's 600 animals you've done, and we haven't even started on Africa yet. <laughs> It is amazing the number of different impressions you can do in seven hours, isn't it? Do you realise it's nearly twelve o'clock? Is that all? I thought it was at least Tuesday. <laughs> Think I'd better be going now. What, so soon? Yes, I'm sorry, I can't stop here entertaining you forever. Good night, Mr. Hancock, and do try to make the show a bit funnier next week. Either he moves or I do. Oh. Uh, 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 what? Mm. Oh, my. Twelve o'clock. It's Monday at last. That must be the most miserable day I've ever spent in my life. Me too. We didn't play a single game. Well, it's the last day I ever spend like it, I'll tell you. we got to get organised, definitely. We can't go on like this, frittering away our lives like we've done today. We've got to do something constructive. Time is valuable. I agree. So do I. We only live once. Of course we do. There's a million things we could do. Certainly there are. Things like Yes, the, like... Oh, sure, uh, we could... We could, uh... Like we... Uh... I'll see you next Sunday, then. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Cheerio. Good night. Good night.